Welcome back to Shoulder Challenge Month Run, Week 3, Day 15. Now today we're going to be targeting and talking about the bicep, tricep tissues and different properties and how you can train the muscles different than the tendons mainly. So if you look to the model off to the side, you're going to notice bicep and tricep for that matter. Both have two muscle tendon heads that come off the whole muscle belly on the bottom portion, both of which attach to the shoulder blade. Now, the action is bending the elbow and also with supination. So we want to open the palm up and rotate out more so we can address that specific movement for these specific tissues. Now, to address the muscles different than the tendons, Muscles are going to require concentric and eccentric work for reps. So the nerve conduction energy then attaches to the motor unit, mainly on the muscle belly itself. Thus, so you can grow that tissue. Now, how can you address the tissues, especially the tendons or the white connective tissue, if you can see on the model on the side? Well, that you need more eccentric work or focused effort lengthening whatever tissue you're looking at, okay? Some of this research came from the Elferson protocol with the Achilles tendons. There's a bunch of literature with that. But today, let's go at addressing the bicep first, and then we're going to go to the tricep. So we want to bring the arm as bent as we can, as slow to as long as we can, actively under control. So for most people, I want you starting off bending your elbow, flexing your bicep, and then slowly lengthening for time. Once you get to the bottom, try to squeeze all the muscles in the arm, relax. Okay, so you can do that for one rep for max time, as long as you're moving slowly and ideally against gravity. For a lot of people, as they're moving their arms, that's going to be easier. So you can either use a dumbbell, kettlebell, weight of some sort. I'll show you another way we can go about this with a wall or a doorway next. But again, as we go from short to long, we can change the apex or where most of the energy can be placed. So as we go into certain movements here, notice for yourself. Are you feeling more of the intensity in where the crease is? Is it up top or is it in the middle? So the other way we can go about it is finding a door and pay attention to that, what I just said. So you go from as short as you can. And again, if you are at a fall risk, make sure that there's something on the ground, pillows, blankets, mattress of some sort, that if you do fall, you can then catch yourself and not break a hip. All right, so we want to go from short to long. So from here, hold on to the side of the door and then go as slow as you can. We can either go for reps, anywhere from three to 30 reps, depending on what uh, work we've done with this before. At the end, squeeze all the muscles or we can go for max effort time, but again, the focus is on lengthening. So once you come down all the way to the ground or lengthen your arm as much as you can, squeeze, stand back up, start again. Again, we're not pulling ourselves like, yes, that is putting more energy into the muscle. But again, today's focus is bicep, tricep, and going at untrained tissue. Untrained tissue is lengthening and bleeding the nerve conduction energy into the white connective tissue. Thus, as you can see on the diagram, where most people are gonna feel this at the end, at the crease of their elbow. Because that's where all the energy is being con contracted, forced, thus what tissues are gonna be addressed, built up. So the muscle belly doesn't overpower the white connective tissue, thus less injury. Because again, if you don't train certain tissues, with the variability of life, throwing, picking, bending, those tissues can get out, blow out for no reason itself. So again, use the wall, 
you can use a dumbbell and slowly lengthen, squeeze at the end, bring it up again, bring it up, okay? So that's the bicep. Now tricep is just the opposite. So we're going from straight to bent, okay? And again, as we're bending, we're stretching all the tissues on the side. Again, two heads for the tricep, but look at all the white connective tissue from the muscle belly to where it attaches on the tendinous structure down to the elbow. So when people do, for example, skull crushers, which they go back to their head, usually laying down, depending on what way their elbow is tilted outwards, inwards, the muscle belly can only handle so much. So it bleeds more of the energy to the sides of the tendinous structure. And that, those tissues can give out really easily, especially if you're going reps. Remember, lengthening. So we want to start from finding a wall, using a dumbbell. Dumbbell, we can either go a couple different ways, if you can, over arm over top, and then slowly have, again, the elbow start to bend. And we're gonna feel more of the energy for most people where the elbow is, okay? Take the arm up, again, slowly go down, either as slow as you can, or for reps, okay? Or, finding a wall, a desk, table, ideally palms facing towards you and then you lengthen from there. But for most people with standing pressure, especially with weak wrist flexors is almost impossible. So holding on palms face downwards, we're gonna have to go that route. So again, we wanna go from straight as we can to as bent elbow, as we can. Trying to keep the elbows, make sure you stand up so they don't flare out as you come down. Try to keep them in line with your shoulders best you can so you can bleed the energy in the middle portion of the muscle belly, okay? So again, for time, for reps, squeeze at the bottom, reset, and continue from there. Okay, now today we want at least two sessions throughout the day. And when we do this, I want you feeling a good muscle burn. It's either choose slow as you can for time and actually push yourself through this. That's one way. The second way is either we can go for five to 30 reps. And once you feel a good muscle burn, back off from there. Again, for most people, this is gonna be untrained tissue, so we don't need that many reps, sets, don't even need that much energy effort put into this, but we do need to address the specific tissue so the muscles don't overpower the white connective tissue, thus less injuries, okay? So that is bicep, tricep tissues. Give that a go for today. Don't cheat on this one, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.